Vision and Integration Commission Chairman Francis Ole Caparo has blamed leaders for the pastoral communities for fueling perennial clashes between the pastoral communities. And as Daniel Masiza now reports, Caparo has urged leaders from the pastoral communities to look for ways to end the perennial clashes. Speaking at Ngoisusu village in Laikipia North during a reconciliatory meeting between the Samburu and Pokot communities, former National Cohesion and Integration Commission Chairman Francis Ole Caparo accused leaders from pastoral communities and professionals in Laikipia, Samburu, Baringo and Isiolo counties for what he termed as failure to end the clashes. He urged the communities to commit to the latest efforts of ending the perennial clashes between them. Tayari jamii ya Pokot wameregesha ngombe 78. Tunataka kuweka pressure jamii waasha kuiba mali ya wenzao ama ya wakenya wengine wote. On his part, Tiat East OCPD Kobia Bariu cited the proliferation of small arms and light weapons as a catalyst to continued conflict between the pastoral communities. Kama si buduki, hakuna mtu anaeza iba na rungu, hama hakuna mtu anaeza iba ngombe na rungu, sa hitu napoteza maisha wa watu, watu wa mepoteza iyo mali yao, sasa tunenda wapi. During the meeting, the Moran warriors and elders from Samburu and Pokot communities made resolutions aimed at bringing to an end perennial cattle rustling and retaliatory attacks. We believe that uh, peace is not a one-man uh, activity and it calls for a collaborative unit. This is kama wase tunaitaji na mna iyo. Na ndiyo mnaona sisi na shukulikia iyo kwa sababu abgiri kela mutu alishudia wakati Wakati hii area iliaribika, kila mtu alipoteza kitu. The meeting comes three weeks after 79 heads of cattle were stolen from one of the residents, Richard Lemuna, in Samburu County. Daniel Masiza, TV47. Well, thank you, Daniel Masiza.